A seance for the boy I let die. If there are any spirits present, they may make themselves known. I know you're there, dead boy. I know you're there because I carry you everywhere, even to this place, so full of life and stories. I took philosophy in high school. The teacher taught us the trolley problem. There's a runaway train barreling down the tracks ahead. There are five people tied up, unable to move, and you are standing in some distant train yard next to a lever. If you pull the lever, the train switches to a different set of tracks. However, there is one person tied up on the other set of tracks. And never has a lever felt more like a trigger. Never has a wristband felt more like a noose. To be a medic is to be a campfire, a thing that holds ghost stories. And I cannot speak yours without smoke in my throat. I'm sorry, dead boy. You were just on the other set of tracks. And it's so much easier to think of you as a philosophical debate hipsters have over coffee, a meme you scroll past on the internet and not a body that I must carry. To work triage is to decide the priority of who gets treated. It is to volunteer to pull the lever, knowing that your heart is on both sets of tracks. I've worn a black wristband every day since I put one on you. And you must know by now that a black wristband is a death mark. It is to triage someone as a corpse or not worth saving. I wear it on my right wrist. It hides the cuts without hiding my desire for death. I summon you here now to ask, not for forgiveness, but of forgiveness. Is it even a word in the language of the dead? Can it even fit in my mouth yet? Does it sound like the girl who lived instead of you? Is it her name or her patched up heartbeat? Or is it the shriek of your mother, the quiet rage of your father? Does it sound like this black wristband? Like my pulse beneath it? Do you hear him? He says, a train is coming. Whoa!